So, Sean, here we are again. And who have you got coming on today? Taff, I've got my Fender T-shirt on. Behind me, I've got my guitar. So that tells you we've got an amazing London street artist, Charlotte Campbell. Charlotte, my darling, you are on parade. How are you doing, baby? I'm really good, thank you. How are you? Fantastic. Charlotte, it's great to have you with us. First and foremost, just tell us who you are, what you do. My name's Charlotte Campbell and I'm from London. I'm a full-time musician. I go and play in touristy spots around London. That's how I sort of promote my music. Your grandparents used to sing, was it World War II songs? They were teenagers during the war, so they, used, they taught me lots of war songs. Yeah, absolutely. And my granddad was a, fought in the, in the Second World War. He was only 17. He was in the um, uh, Marines, in the, yeah. Oh, no! He didn't freeze, was he? Well, no, mar something maritime. I'm awful. He would oh, he'd be, be telling me off now for not remembering it. The it's, Navy, he's in the Navy. It's kind of crucial to us veterans, what I'm you sorry. were in, so, <laughs> so we could start slagging them off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What, what, what was it that infused you about the wartime music? I didn't know there were war songs at the time. They were just like, we're going to sing this one now, roll out the barrel. And I go, oh, I love this one. It, we really took it on, my two brothers and I. We used to go on very long car journeys because my grandparents are from Wales. So we just sang the whole way. <laughs> we used to sing all different sort of war songs that they taught us. I spoke to my grand quite recently actually about about the, about the war and, and going into air raid shelters. It was sort of lockdown that inspired me to go, what, what was that like? <laughs> so it was really interesting to talk to her about it. It's striking, isn't it, that during the most dire of times, people reach for the happy song. I think these songs like We'll Meet Again, there's a nostalgia to it that young people can, can feel even if they weren't experiencing it themselves. I hope so anyway. <laughs> Charlotte, do you ever face any difficulties on the street? I have to say, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised by how positive my experience has been. I've been out busking for six or seven years. I find that I get very positive responses. You know, even my experiences with, with the homeless, sometimes they'll come up and say, oh, sorry, I, I'm homeless, I haven't got any money, but I, uh, I just, I like the music, it's comforting and it's nice. It's actually mostly given me very positive experiences being out on the street. Charlotte, the Evening Standard reported a certain sort Paul McCartney. I'm a huge Beatles fan and I love Paul McCartney. And I was busking away at Charing Cross Station. Someone dropped some money in and I said thank you. I, and for a second I just thought, no way, is that Paul McCartney? And he sort of looked at me like, don't, don't say anything, because he obviously doesn't want to be seen in Charing Cross Station. Well, I said, oh, th thanks, Paul, because I wanted him to know, I, I know who you are, you know. <laughs> but he started to walk away and I thought, oh, I've missed an opportunity there to say something. Yeah, you could have been the fifth Beatle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I thought I'll just play, um, I'll play a Beatles song. So I played I Want to Hold Your Hand and oh, turned back and gave me two thumbs up. When I was a young teenager, they played in the town hall in Wales. Oh, really? And we all had teddy boy haircuts. And after the first song, everybody rushed to the toilets and pulled their hair down because we wanted to have a Beatles mop. <laughs> <laughs> How much did he throw into your hat? I won't tell you. I, I'm not I knew you wouldn't! <laughs> I won't say. I'll keep that between me and, me and Paul. I know you, you will. But you bought a new flat out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lasted me the lockdown, at least. Do you ever come across homeless veterans out there on the Absolutely. street? Absolutely. And they're always really respectful. They love the music, just like anyone else. I had a really positive experience with a veteran. He used to be there quite a lot. His name was Michael. I was playing, and it was very windy, and a £5 note flew out of my guitar case. And he walked up a couple of minutes later and said, I found this and I think it might have come out of your guitar case. I said, you just keep it. Anyone else would have just kept it. He was just a good, honest man. I mean, the veterans do struggle on the streets, don't they? But they do keep that kind of integrity, don't they? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, definitely. Can you tell a veteran on the streets when you see them? I'm making an assumption because a lot of the veterans will wear like khaki colours or have, have badges or, or things that they've kept. Sometimes I, I just ask. I do get to have a lot of conversations with, with people, so I've asked a couple of them. There's a couple of homeless people, they, they cause a bit of trouble. You know, a lot of the time they're just in good natured, but they, you know, they want to draw a bit of attention to themselves or they have a couple of drinks because it's hard life living on the street. And when I've sort of sometimes got annoyed with some of them, some of the other homeless have said, oh, he actually, you know, he's a veteran and he's just, he just doesn't know how to cope really. And, and then you've yeah. got enough for them, really. I mean, myself and Sean are very keen. We campaign on a lot of things, but we did a couple of nights, didn't we, Sean, looking for veteran homeless people. And it's very difficult to get them to come off the street, wasn't it? Yes, I think, I think people get programmed, uh, you get set in a way, and it's very hard to break that habit. What, one message we want to get out to everybody, there is hope, um, and there's a Veterans Gateway charity which is recently launched. So if you ever see them, uh, Charlotte, it's called Veterans Gateway. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they call that number, 
and that's like the umbrella charity of all charities and they will deal with housing um, welfare all sorts of stuff like that there is the cavalry out there it's just joining the dots and some soldiers veterans they just get lost Myself and Sean, a few of us, we run a drop-in centre once a month for veterans at St Pancras Hospital. Uh, I'd love to invite you to come down and play a few songs to all Oh, I'd love to do that. I would really love to do that. that yes! Was... Sean, I'm really glad you introduced me to Charlotte. That was wonderful. So, folks, on parade, we're going to have Charlotte Campbell singing us We'll Meet Again. Sit back and enjoy it. We'll meet again don't know where, don't know when, but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Keep smiling through, just like you always do, till the blue skies chase the dark clouds far away. Will you please say hello to the folks that I know? Tell them I won't be long. They'll be happy to know when you saw me go, I was singing this song. We'll meet again. Don't know where. 